Hey, this is Craig Wing with Guitar Like a Rockstar. That's right. We're going out into the world today to find as many young rockers that we possibly can in the name of rock and roll. That's right. We're going to keep the future going and find the new talent. So join me on our quest to find it. Hey, this is Craig Wing, and on our quest out there to find new talent that's up and coming for the next rock and roll. Is it the future? That's right. Out here in the woods somewhere in a desolate area of Maine, I have happened to find a young child named Allie, who I've been working with for about four weeks now. And she's going to be the next upcoming rock star in Amazing. So let's bring Allie out here right now to the show and introduce her to you, America. Come on out. Don't be afraid. Have a seat right there. So this is awesome. We, we did manage to find you, and you told me that you happened to be um, a big fan of the guitar, correct? And you've always wanted to play since you were a little girl, right? So um, what is the biggest thing? Like you're, you said you were six years old, right, in the last video that you did? So how old are you now? Eleven. Eleven. Okay, so what is it that our fans out here would like to know is I think the biggest thing is how did you get inspired to play guitar? I mean, I don't even know. So I would like to find out how this guitar is sitting in your lap right now. So why don't you just tell us a little bit about how it got started? Um, well, my dad mentioned it and I thought it would be, hmm, that seems like a pretty cool instrument. Uh, it seems outgoing. Um, and then he called up Craig and then, uh, I, a few weeks later, I was there practicing chords. Then a few weeks later, I was doing a few songs. And um, I hope to learn more. Well, that's just absolutely a fascinating story, Ellie. Now, some of the things that we have to, that are involved today is like, we took a bunch of Beatles tunes, because I think that Beatles tunes are really good to uh, work with children with, because the, the, the melodies are just m memorable. You know what I mean? So we worked with like uh, eight days a week, correct? Uh, Day Tripper and Blackbird, right? And each one of these pieces is very unique, I think, uh, for helping children develop their skills. First of all, on eight days a week, it's just nothing but chords. And it introduces some of the bar chords and a lot of the introductory chords. And it gives them a way to put that into action and actually learn by having fun, because that's important. You gotta have fun, right? Then number two, is the blackbird one is more of a introductory to finger picking which works with the right hand with proper technique to uh you know finger pick which we'll get into later and then on the day tripper one it involves more single note riffs where you work individual notes and also introduces the power chord which is another rock and roll um, chord that needs to be mastered at a young age so as we'll sit here, I think that we'll actually uh, give a couple of demonstrations of some things right now. So, um, would you like to play a little bit of the um, Eight Days a Week for us and show us how, how you play these, these type of chords and show the uh, audience out here your development on Eight Days a Week? So, do you think you could do that for us? Yes. All right, that would be awesome. So, why don't you just give us a little, little bit of taste of that. And then I might cut you off halfway through, and then we'll try something else, okay? So go ahead. Uh, cut. A little, a little volume might help, right? Okay.
was awesome, right? You gave us. A, now, how did you feel about doing those chords for the first time when you first started learning them and you were being forced to go faster? Was it? How did it feel to finally get there? It was kind of tough at first, but then once you practice for like about forty-five minutes to an hour, um, you learn that it's pretty easy once you go back to the next lesson. And did you find yourself really practicing during the week, putting in the time? Because we know that 1% is better than what? 100%. Zero, right? Which means that you don't do anything during the week, and then you come back and expect to be a genius, right? We all know that this doesn't work. So you did actually put in some time, because your father probably said, hey, why don't you pick up that guitar and, you know, practice for about an hour? Would you say something like that happened? Or was it divine intervention that you just said, hey, I'm going to do this no matter what? Because that's actually the best way to do it is to go, nobody has to tell me how to do this. I just want to do it because I want to do it, right? So did you put in the time during the week? And, you, and it paid off, right? Okay. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us today with Allie once again. I just want to take this opportunity to show it after four uh, sessions, basically, we're going to do Day Tripper together, and we're going to play this, and a lot of this is about putting the licks and everything into real time, the best that we can. So we're going to try to put this up to speed, and if there's some mistakes that happen, well, that's just life, you know? You fall off the horse, you get back on the horse, and you keep riding, right? I mean, it's not over until your heart stops beating, correct? So until that day, let's just enjoy every day that we have on here, and and jam some guitar, okay? So, Allie, you think that we can play this day tripper? Yes. That's the right answer. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, four. That's awesome. What'd you think of that? That was kind of like, you know, I thought they were gonna rock the world, man, you know, but uh, I, uh, that was really good, you know, A plus, right? And then, do you have any thoughts to deliberate to the audience out there about how it felt to jam that song? Well, it seemed really hard at first, but once you get to practicing, then you get to learn more, then you get to knowing it, fast and then once you can play it you can play as fast as Craig. Wow you know just because of that I feel like um, blue skies ahead you know nothing but blue skies. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take um, <clears throat> the Blackbird tune that you've been kind of working on and I think that will show a series of developments on this tune to the point where it's up to speed but we did work on this before and I know that we're filming this for the first time but we're gonna have Allie kind of play what she knows for the Blackbird and then we'll keep the progress of the filming going up as we develop it up to speed. So why don't we have you play this right now and show us what you have going on here.
awesome, Allie. Thank you very much for doing that. that. Was that was really awesome? As you can see, the development of children or anybody and anything you could look at it as a business, but you know you could look at it as lifting weights or this is what we're doing. But the bottom line is that um, she's putting in the time and effort, and she's concentrating and she's focusing on her craft, and it's getting better. And as you can see, it'll it develop and it'll get a lot better than what it is right now and, and the speed will get up but she's so young you can see the development of this piece and what I would just do later is show how I would actually try to um, help force some of the speed and techniques of this song to make it go faster but um, how do you feel on this tune and your development of it how much time do you think that you've put into this honestly um, I think this is the one one of the hardest songs because it's finger picking and there's like so much to remember. Um, but I think anyone could do it if they practiced hard enough. That was I the correct answer, right? Because that, so later, what I would do to try to do this is to, is to tap my foot or my knee, right? And then you'll play like one, two, three, four, right? So let me see you do this again from the beginning, right? And, and I want to try to push it a little faster. So don't get angry with me. Just try to focus on making this happen a little faster than what it is, right? So if I'm tapping, I'd like to see you go one, two, three, four, okay? So let's see how far we can get. Let's see if we can get to the 12th fret. So let's try it by yourself. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. Okay, let's do it again, but a little faster. Okay? One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, you all set? Yeah. You think you got it? All right, let's try it again. One, two, three, four. Okay, a little faster. How about we just try to the second one? How about you go like this? One, two. Try to do that. You could win five bucks. Okay, congratulations. She just won five dollars, right? Payable by our agent, which we'll disclose later in the documents at the bottom of this clip. So let's try to get to the third clip, uh, the third chord as fast as you can. So go one, two, three. That's worth ten bucks. Can you do that? Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, it's close enough. You made yourself fifteen bucks. Now to get up to the twenty. Um, $20 bill one. We gotta get to the 12th fret. So you gotta go one, two, three, four. Okay, this is for a whole $20, ladies and gentlemen. But, you know, at least if she doesn't make it, she walks off the set with the 15. Okay, so let's try it again from the beginning. Ready? One, two, three, four. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, but I think you could do better. So let's try it again. One, two, three, four. What do you think? You think you can do it with me to the 12th fret? Maybe. Wrong answer. Say yes. yeah. All right, you said it. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Just about there. Make it happen. Focus. Ready? Don't be afraid. Right? One, two, three, four. Hundred bucks if you can get it this time. Right? You think you can do it for a hundred bucks? One, two, three, four. There you go. See? Once again, all children are motivated by money. I don't care what that Capital One car says. Do you want more money? And the kid's like eating a bowl of cereal or something like that. Of course the kid wants more money. He's going to make it rain up here with dollar bills, right? And then he's upset that he has to clean it up off the floor, right? So, yeah, I'll take that job as well. But I think that with a little practice and a lot of dedication here and somebody forcing and stressing her out a little bit beyond... Just being like um, comfortable, 
you got to step outside your comfort zone and feel a little bit of pressure in order to grow. So what I wanted to say is as a guitar player or any new guitar player, it's like a, like a brand new plant, right? Coming up out of the ground, it comes out of the dirt and it's like staring and then it grows a little bit higher and then it slowly starts to sprout a couple of branches. Then it gets a leaf and when it gets the leaf, it starts to collect the sun and then it starts to really grow fast. And that's what we're trying to do here on Guitar Like a Rock Star. So this is Craig Wing and Allie, and why don't you say, rock and roll will never die. Go ahead. Rock and roll will never die. That's right. Thank you for joining us on this episode, and we'll see you on the next one real soon. I'm looking forward to 